Mark Harvey, diabeticdogmolysis.com. It's not that I'm anti-fruit. Fruit is nature's candy, sweet, wonderful blueberries and strawberries and fresh fruit is so awesome. But you need to know that fruit is sugar. So if you're going to eat fruit for breakfast, you're having sugar for breakfast. So just because the newspaper says that it's healthy doesn't mean that it's not sugar. It's still sugar. It's a lot better than cereal or, you know, oatmeal or other kinds of sugar like that. But fruit is still sugar. If you drink fruit juice, that's the same as drinking Mountain Dew or other kinds of soda or pop or whatever you call it in your region of the woods. Sugar makes you fat, increases your risk for type 2 diabetes. So don't drink sugar shakes for breakfast or fruit shakes for breakfast. You want fat and protein and healthy green leafy vegetables. Vegetables that grow above ground for the most part, although I have discovered jicama, which is a lot of fiber, and that's a pretty cool underground vegetable, but micronutrients are what you get from green vegetables, it's what you get from organ meat like liver and sardines. Fruit is your candy dessert, but remember it's candy, it's sugar. Don't live off of it and think you're being healthy. If you want to lose weight, cut out the sugar or the fruit altogether if your goal is to lose weight. Because with type 2 diabetes, one of the biggest problems is obesity. Obesity causes type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes causes obesity. It's this vicious cycle. So losing weight, you'll lower your blood sugars, you'll lower your A1C, and you'll make it easier to exercise, which will lower your blood sugar some more. Fruit is sugar. Bananas are sugar. Blueberries, I love them. I can eat a whole pint of them in about five minutes, but it's sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Healthy sugar, but it's sugar. Fruit juice is concentrated sugar, so it's not even healthy sugar just because it's coming from an apple or from a grape. It's just as much sugar as in pop or soft drinks or whatever. If your goal is to lose weight, you got to cut out sugar. You got to eat more fat and protein. So if you're craving fruit, eat some fat and protein. That'll get rid of your cravings because your body's craving food. So if you give it good food and get rid of the sugar out of your house so it's not even available, you'll lose weight. People will sabotage you because they don't care about being fat or having diabetes. So our clinic director today brought home, or I say home, brought to the clinic about six cases of caramel popcorn from the Boy Scouts and started handing it out to the diabetic patients and to me. So first ingredient was corn syrup, second ingredient was sugar, and then corn, which is just as bad as the first two. Don't eat that crap. And don't bring it to the clinic and don't bring it and give it to me because I have a hard time resisting caramel popcorn because it's amazing. It's like crack. It's like meth. Sugar is that addictive and that impossible to avoid if it's around. So you're not going to keep meth laying around in your fridge, right? Or heroin like, okay, I'm not going to eat it, but I'm just going to keep it there. No, you're going to get rid of that crap. Same with sugar. If it's in your fridge, you're going to eat it. So get rid of it. Shouldn't even be in the house. Make sure your fridge is stocked with butter and meat and eggs and green veggies. So when you open the fridge, you can't grab a candy bar unless it's like 85% dark chocolate, then it's okay. But you can't grab a donut because you don't have a donut in the house. All you can grab is some kale. Now what I like to do is put a little fruit on my kale salad. So I have kale and put a little blueberries for flavoring along with maybe some almonds or sunflower seeds and then dump a bunch of fat on there like olive oil and some vinegar because vinegar is really good for you. And that's an amazing meal that 
makes you feel good, gives you energy, makes you feel like, you know, my old motto is that you're always only one meal away from a healthy diet that invigorates you. You're only one meal away. So your last meal was crap. Make the next meal a good meal. Protein, meat, veggies, eggs, healthy fats, like coconut, avocado. Just have avocado every meal. Have coconut every meal. You could have avocado with kale, avocado with spinach, avocado with leafy green vegetables. That's a good fat and protein. Now, organ meats, you need liver. You gotta, you gotta develop a taste for liver. Liver's got everything in it to live on liver. It's a lot better than muscle meats, like, you know, that we typically eat in, in America. We eat chicken breast, which is mostly like this processed saline infused stuff that's not that great for you. But organ meat and sardines, I mean, that's got a lot of micronutrients, and super healthy fats, healthy proteins. Sugar so is what is in fruit. So if you're drinking banana shakes for breakfast, you might as well just get a Mountain Dew because at least it's got some caffeine too. You're not going to lose weight and you're not going to control your blood sugars if you're drinking sugar or eating massive quantities of sugar for breakfast or for any meal for that matter. So low carb means no fruit. So if you're going to do low carb, high fat, that's the only way to lose weight. You got to cut out sugar and fruit. Okay, that's my rant on fruit is sugar, even though it's good. Mm, yummy. I love blueberries. Did I mention that? Watermelon. Mm -hmm.